Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Doyle, better known to y'all as the Big D, with another review in a week of Disney. And this time around, I am the son to step off and doing Disney stuff, so I thought I'd do Disney Pixar this time. And this time, I'm going to bring to you a review of 2003's Finding Nemo. Definitely one of my absolute favorite Disney Pixar anime flicks alongside the Toy Story movies and The Incredibles. Yeah, I think this was pretty fun. When I first saw it, I absolutely loved it. I watched it again and again every time when it came on Stars in 2004. It was just great. Anyway, the story, of course, tells the story of a little clownfish named Nemo and his overprotective father, Marlin. Yeah, he's overprotective of him ever since the death of his wife. Yes. After an attack by after being attacked by a barracuda, which killed her and most of their eggs, uh, their, their children that were still in their eggs. Yeah. Of course, his wife was named Coral. Yeah, I liked how they, they in, knew what to name the children. And Mom says, we'll call one half Marlin Jr. and the other half Coral Jr. Coral's kind of like the name Nemo. And Marlin's like, well, we'll call one Nemo. But I'd like the rest to be Marlin Jr. <laughs> really good. And soon after that attack, only one egg was left. And thus we had our main character of Nemo. So, anyway, I really do love the story. I'm going to try not to spill too much, but I'm sure a ton of y'all have seen this. So I'll just go into it. Now, despite the attack, Nemo's egg was damaged in the process and was born with a little fin, a bad fin, actually. On his first day of school, Marlon embarrasses Nemo during a field trip. When Marlon talks to the teacher, Mr. Ray, Nemo sneaks away from the reef and is abducted by a scuba diver who puts him on a speedboat. Marlon gives chase and runs into this here regal blue tang named Dory, who is an absolute comic relief of this movie. <laughs> oh, I absolutely loved the, the that character. <laughs> oh, and soon the fun begins. Well, Dory suffers from short-term memory loss, and soon they encounter three sharks, Bruce, Anchor, and Chum, who are trying to not eat fish. Because that's what they're trying to learn. Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, after a slight fight with Marlin, Dory gets a nosebleed, causing Bruce to go into a feeding frenzy. But, well, Marlin and Dor Dory narrowly escape. Nemo is, meanwhile, is placed in an aquarium in a dentist's office in Sydney, Australia. And there he meets the Tank Gang, which included Bubbles, a yellow tang, Peach, the, a sea star, Cleaner Shrimp, Jacques, Bloat, the Blowfish, Gurgle, Royal Grandma, and Blue and White Humba Deb, led by a Moorish Isle named Gil. Well, apparently Nemo wants he has to be given to the dentist's niece, Darla, who's absolutely, totally wacko, wacko. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just want to throw that in for fun. I just have some fun here, everyone, okay? I wasn't trying to mean any harm, but if you've seen this, you'll know. 
But anyway, this kid has accidentally killed previous fish given to her, including a goldfish named Chuckles. So Gil devises a plan to escape by sending Nemo to the filter and jam it with a pebble so that they, he will have to put the rest of the fish into plastic bags while the tank gets clean and roll out of the window and into the harbor. So Nemo agrees to do so but fails and is almost killed. Everybody saves him and Gil is left guilt-ridden. Soon, something falls into the trench and Dory reads the address and remembers it despite her amnesia. They receive directions from a school of moonfish and they have to swim through the trench but Marlin decides they should swim over it. That's where they encounter force of jellyfish that almost stings them to death but they survive. They find themselves on the East Australian Current and have a good time with Crush, a green sea turtle, and his son Squirt, and all their turtle children. So, Marlin tells the story of his quest. And so the news spreads across the ocean. Pelican named Nigel flies out to the dentist's house to bring news of Marlin's efforts to find his son. So, Neiman. Nemo tries to make another attempt to jam the filter, and he succeeds, and the aquarium and its contents are covered in green algae. So Marla and Dory exit the East Australian Current and are engulfed by a blue whale. And Dory communicates with it and carries them to the harbor of Sydney and expels them through his blowhole. And there they meet Nigel, who helped them. Escape from a group of seagulls who are absolutely, totally, I don't know. <laughs> Takes them to the dentist's office, but meanwhile, the dentist has installed a new high tech filter, foiling the gang's escape. And Darla arrives and is about to give Nemo, but he plays dead to save himself. As Nigel arrives, scaring little Darla. And throwing the office into chaos. Through the dentist throws Nigel out. Gil helps Nemo escape through a drain that leads to the ocean. Thinking that Nemo said Marley, Marley abandoned story. And begins his journey home. But however, it, the departure causes story to lose her memory. But she meets Nemo. Yeah. Dory's Mary returns when she reads the word Sydney on a drain pipe. She reunites Nemo with Marlin, but is caught in a net with a school of grouper. Nemo enters the net and orders the fish to swim down in order to break the net so they can escape. After returning home to the reef, Marlin and Dory reach, well, watch, well, reach their home and watch Mr. Ray take Nemo and his friends on a field trip. And now in a, well, in a mid credit scene, the dentist's new filter breaks and the tank gang gets skimmed to their har into the harbor unnoticed, realizing only too late that they are still trapped in the plastic bags. <laughs> and that's the end. If you had not seen this movie, you watched this whole review, me mention everything, well, this is kind of spoiler, which I wanted to say, because I'm sure a ton of you have watched Finding Nemo. So, if you hadn't seen this, you watched this whole review by me, blah, 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 about it, sorry. I should have warned y'all. My bad. <laughs> Even so, Finding Nemo was a big success when the Oscar for Best Anime of Feature. And it was the highest gross anime feature at the time, and it was the second highest gross in Flick of 2003, slightly behind The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. So, it did pretty well, and it was the highest grossing G rated film of all time until Toy Story 3 surpassed it. In 2012, it was re-released in 3D, and that's about it. But however, about 13 years later, we actually got a sequel, Finding Dory, 
Well, which, it's not too bad, but I like Finding Nemo more, okay? Don't hate me for that. Finding Dory is good in some ways, but Finding Nemo is better. Okay, but you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> but anyway, that's Finding Nemo. I do love it. Would I recommend it to anybody who hasn't seen it and watched this review despite it more, you you better believe it. This movie is worth checking out. It is on Disney+. Plus. Finding Dory is as well, even though that was formerly on Netflix. Anyway, I like the animation. I like the story. I liked every bit of it, including the voice acting cast. Voicing Marlin is Albert Brooks, who has done lots of pretty good movies. Voice and Dory is Funny Gal and current daytime talk show host Ellen DeGeneres. Nemo is voiced by Alexander Gould. Voicing Gil is Willem Dafoe, who the previous year played Norman Osborn, alias the Green Goblin in Sam Raimi's Spider Man. Voicing Bloat is Brad Garrett who, of course, was still a big star on TV's Everybody Loves Raymond. Voicing Peach is Allison Janney, who a lot of y'all know her best from TV's Mom, and lots of other movies, too. <laughs> Voicing Bubbles is Stephen Root, who's... I believe he's done some voice acting work as well, and I'm sure he's appeared in some live action movies too. Voicing Gurgle is Austin Pendleton, who I only know him best as Doc Hopper's partner, Max, in the Muppet movie. Let's see. Joe Ramped as Jock. And British actor Jeffrey Rush voices Nigel. But there's tons of other voice actors, so, well, I just really like the voice acting cast we got. Oh yeah, one more. Vicky Lewis is Deb, who also kind of seen her reflection and thinks she has a sister named Flo. And, well, there's plenty of others. But anyway, if you really want a really good out this out of the sea fish tail, you need to see Finding Nemo. So please let me know what you thought about Finding Nemo in the comments section. Like and subscribe to my channel and be a part of the Big D Nation. And join me again tomorrow for my final day of a week of Disney when I bring to you a back-to-back -back review of 1975's Escape to Witch Mountain, along with its 1978 sequel, Return from Witch Mountain. And then after that, tomorrow night, I will be reviewing The Incredibles. Just the first one. I will review two sometime, but I don't know when, though. So, until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya!